In the Nier franchise fight, pause the screen or look up my previous vid on my page to see how I'm grading how well Nier would translate to fighting games. Also, I will not be including the mobile game Nier Reincarnation, and of course be wary of potential spoilers for the games. With that out the way, for those that don't know, Nier in a sequel Automata is an action RPG spin-off of the Drakengar series published by Squeenix and directed by legendary weirdo Yoko Taro, and is the coolest, funnest, philosophical nightmare you'll ever experience. My memories, you hear me? Ah! Characters. Akehiko Yoshida, Nier's named lead character designer, put his whole foot in this visual feast of a game series. The costuming for the human-like characters and features for the non-human characters, while not always super complex or even sensical at first glance, is distinctive, eye-catching, and would definitely hold up on a screen with different meters, hit effects, and bunch of projectiles flying all over the screen. I do have to knock it a bit for the lack of diverse human characters. I know it's for story reasons that most of them are physically similar, but still, and I don't realistically see this series providing the largest of rosters throughout its life. I can realistically see a maybe a 20, 22 character roster of quality characters, maybe a few more if we get some of the more popular Drakengar folks like Kaim or Zero. A good fighter is not made by the size of its roster, but it can have an effect on its longevity. But the iconicness and the execution of these designs still lets it score high, 4 out of 5. Potential moveset. Original Nier had bad combat, there's no way around that, but after Mean Machine Brazilian enthusiasts Platinum got their hands on it for the sequel and the remake, gameplay got better and its animations had a lot of exaggeration and impact that would transcribe well into a fighting game moveset. Whether it's Weiss magic or paw skills reshaping battlefields or the wild weapon combos or the parry and perfect dodge mechanics. We also know for a fact moves for at least one character from the series would work well in a pugilistic setting when 2B guest starred in Soul Calibur. It should come as no surprise Nier scores a 5 out of 5 in potential movesets. We'll continue to fight. Reach and popularity. Look, I like the Nier series a lot. Lots of people like the Nier franchise. Automata and the Nier remake sold well and reviewed well, but the Square Enix products don't have the raw numbers or cultural reach that other popular franchises that have been turned into fighters have. And yes, I did consider all of the Kine to be Pino. Still not as much cultural impact. But numbers and reach aren't everything, yeah? A big IP's fighting game can lose steam if it's too centralized or the original fan base isn't engaged enough. And relatively smaller licensed fighters can still be healthy if the fan base is voracious enough. From what I've seen in the community, I'd like to believe that the near fan base can be voracious enough. But I still got to be objective, so 3.5 out of 5. Fan acceptance. Platinum improved the Nier's combat, but it's relatively simple compared to some of their other work. And these games' biggest selling points are likely its story and world. Truly. The honor was mine. Fighting games have improved at how they present their stores, but still don't know if that would be a fan's preferred way to get more near lore. That being said, fans of the series would love to see a new console PC game that isn't Replicant Point 2. And this isn't a fact, just an opinion, but it is a Japanese game, and if you fuck with Japanese games, there's a high likelihood you fuck with fighters. So. I'm gonna be a little cautious and give it a 3.8. Now to input all this data into the special calculating machine. Yeah, a near fighting game would do well, I think. The strength of its designs and moves will offset its medium cultural imprint and attract many outside of the fandom. I'm thinking a four button fighter, light heavy, special with some autos, maybe a dedicated projectile button that shoots out weak, white damaging bullets that has significant scaling to simulate the bullet hell aspect of the games. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. Anyway, hopes this answered a question you probably didn't have, that yes, Nier can fight. Dumbass! 
start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your 